Hello everyone, welcome back to Too Far Gone Media. Uh, today we're going to touch base on a little bit more what's happening with the Freedom Convoy. And I'll tell you all right now, everything I have seen, and I've spent probably over 20 hours socializing and mingling and, and walking with the protesters, this here is one of the uh, side locations, um, the secondary locations. This is like a little logistics area that somebody put together for them. Um, I'm not going to say who it was, but uh, anywho, this is like everything is nice and clean. Everything is uh, well ran. Everything is very well choreographed in such a way that it's very professional and it's not violent, nor is it even much anger. I mean, there is some anger, but, you know, you, you can't you can't label the whole group because there's four or five drunk people in the crowd of you know, 40,000 uh, that are doing mischief. So yeah. let's uh, let's talk to this lad. Here? How did you end up separated from the convoy? From the main minutes. convoy. Yeah, we, we just came as volunteers and then they started splitting us up all different locations. So now I think there's like four locations and we just got to keep going, keep being strong and we're all going to get together eventually. The coordinate, coordinate, how do you know how to say it? But it's getting organized. And as soon as it gets, then you'll see a lot of difference. It's going to take a little bit more time. And uh, just day by day, we're getting better and better. And eventually you'll see the whole truck and stuff come together bigger and better than before. So Now, would you say that what's happening is getting stronger or is it starting to bleed out? It, it, at last the movement. weekend was very strong. Then the week comes and it goes down a little bit. The morale goes down. But now Friday's here again. We're a little more organized than last weekend. And it's going to be a little better. Now, did you guys lose some trucks out of your convoy here? It seems like there's a lot of ways, like a lot of space with a lot of tire tracks and no more trucks. Yeah, there's, they, they've been putting some downtown. And then, as I said, there's more coming. And it's just going to keep getting better. Like, I, I think the police are going slowly pushing everybody together but it's only going to last so long before it changes and where did you come from hamilton ontario hamilton ontario only five and a half hours and we just came for the weekend and then it changed now i'm here even longer just to volunteer and help the love and support's unbelievable here so you're dedicated to what's happening yeah just got to keep going keep going keep staying strong and more people are realized and do the same. Like as I said, the donations are unbelievable, and everyone just showing love and kindness. Now, if you had a chance yourself to speak to Trudeau, what would you ask of him? What I, what what I is your? I couldn't contain myself. I couldn't even say anything to the guy. He's done so much wrong. It's unbelievable. He just got to come up and talk. I just want peaceful. Come and talk, and we'll resolve the situation. Nice. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, there you have it, people. Boots on the ground, straight up from the people that are right there, doing it all. I'm telling you all, you need to get your head out of your asses, and you need to start looking, and you need to do your research. Because your government, the Trudeau government right now, is nothing but criminals and liars. And if you can't look at the proof and determine that, there's something terribly, terribly wrong with you. And don't you worry one bit. When we make the changes, we'll make sure you get left behind. It's time for us to unite now. Make the changes now. Okay? Our kids are going stir crazy. We're going stir crazy. This is all a sham. Look at what the professionals say throughout the world. Stop looking at your goddamn local media or your mainstream media. Wake the fuck up, people. Wake the fuck up. This is Mark Couture for Too Far Gone Media. Keep your stick on the ice and stay sexy, Canada. I love you.